something in me this morning was like, go record a YouTube video on Sunday and say everything that possibly comes to your mind. And the first thing that came to my mind was that I'm scared. <laughs> Woo, I'm scared. You ever been scared because so many good things are happening? So you're scared that something bad's gonna happen to like derail all the good things? That's where I'm at right now in my life. I'm scared. I'm scared because like I'm making more money than I ever made in my whole entire life. Um, I'm doing this content creating thing and it's just been absolutely amazing. It's the support from you guys has been so real. Like just from me being me and just doing stuff that I was gonna do anyway and it resonates with me so much. The love from you guys, the emails, like the messages, the the stuff you guys say to me, like you keep me going, you keep me motivated, you keep that stuff. I wasn't prepared for any of that. <laughs> but um like with my job, my 95 like everything is just elevating and it's making me nervous because it's like why are so many good things happening to me? Who am I? Like, but I know I serve like an almighty God and I know everything is right on time, but it doesn't make me less nervous about it. Like I see the future and where everything is going just based off where it is right now. And I'm like, I'm excited, but I'm scared. So I was like, I'm not going to the gym today. I want to be outside alone. It's like, 6 45 7 a.m in the morning i just want to be outside and be at peace go on a walk not on a treadmill not in a stuffy gym i just want to go outside so yeah but um how you guys been <laughs> let me know in the comments because i like talking to y'all but yeah everything's been pretty good like I feel like 2024 is the year of everything you ask for you're gonna get as long as you stay focused on what you're supposed to stay focused on as long as you keep being you staying in your own lane don't have an identity crisis about what you're who you're not like stay focused on who you are be you like I've never had an issue with just being me and I've realized a lot of people have that issue, that identity crisis thing where they see other people doing something and they're like, oh, well, it's working for them. Let me see if I can try it and see if it works for me. I've never had that issue about seeing somebody get something and being like, oh, damn, I wish that was me. No. What's for me is going to be for me. God forbid, if it never goes anywhere besides where it is, then I know that's where God wants me to be. If it does, then I know that's where God wants me to be. But I just, like, feel it. Like, oh. We're going places like this is gonna be major you're gonna be big I don't want to be big to the point where it's like I'm on the shade room kind of big I want to be big to the, the people that matter to me like the people that care about what I'm doing like the hundreds of y'all that just be in my DMs messaging me like yo you doing this you doing that like I'm proud of you cuz like I see how far I've come like thing about this whole life thing it's kind of like losing weight which is why i kind of like no matter how you lose it whether like um you do it naturally or not like i don't care whatever is healthier for you but any kind of dedication like that you guys have like whether you in the gym you trying to lose the weight you trying to get it off like any kind of goal you set like once i started losing weight and being consistent with everything everything else in my life started being consistent like, I feel like I could do anything. Like, if I can lose over 100 pounds by myself without somebody guiding me through it, just me, like, I know that I could do it. If I can stick to that, I know I can do anything. That's why, like, I feel like it starts with wanting better for yourself. Like, I know we sit back and be like, oh, I can't do it or I can't be consistent enough. That says a lot about who you are. Like, when I was gaining, like, when I was, like, 350-something, 370-something, I realized I just didn't care. I didn't care what I put in my mouth. I didn't care about 
Like I cared about how I looked because I always thought I was a cute girl, but I just stopped caring about my appearance. Like I stopped caring about the importance of walking up a flight of stairs and not getting winded. Like I stopped caring about my health really. And we don't notice that because we're like in this world where, oh, it doesn't matter when you're young and like until you're like 60 and then you realize you can't move around the way you wanted to because you didn't get your health in line. So it's like doing all of this and getting all that together, I feel like I'm unstoppable. Like you can't tell me nothing because I lost mad weight. I did it naturally. I did it by stop like I stopped eating all the foods I was really craving. I did it on a calorie deficit. I did it doing 30 like minutes of cardio every day. I did it lifting heavy weights. Like I did it. Can't nobody tell me nothing because I did it. Like y'all, y'all not hearing me though. Like I feel like I'm preaching to like the gym choir. Like I'm just on a whole different level right now in my life. I feel so good. Like and I've always felt good, like, about my marriage and my kids and my life. Like, I've always had a really good life. Because I didn't come, like, from a silver spoon or anything like that. Like, I didn't come from, like, when my husband bought our house, that was the first time I ever grew up in. Like, that's the first time I was ever in a house. Like, I was raised in housing projects. Like, my mom was on Section 8, food stamps. Like, my dad was in and out of jail. Like, my mom did what she could. Like, and... Like, I never felt pity for my mom because I'm like, my mom's doing her thing. Because I saw how a lot of other kids was living in the projects and they wasn't living like us. Like, house was always clean. Like, food was always in the refrigerator. Refrigerator, like, my mom did her thing with us. But we've just grown up in the projects. So as I got older, I'm like, I appreciate my mom for everything she did, but I know I want more. Like, I just knew I wanted more. So, went out, got more. It is what it is. Um, yeah. That's why, like, can't nobody... I remember people used to, like, be trying to shame me growing up in the projects. You can't make me feel bad for that. <laughs> you can't make me feel bad for growing up in the projects. Like, I was a child. I can't control where my mother raised me. Just like, you can't control where your mother raised you. And a lot of kids can't control where their parents raised them. That's why, like, when you got your kids in school and they talking about other kids' sneakers and, like, what they wearing and, oh, your mother doing this, you, you live here... How are you going to make a kid feel bad for something like that? Like, no. I'm happy that my daughter gets to grow up in a whole different environment than I got to grow up in. Like, I'm happy about that. But to try to make me feel bad, you can't make me feel bad about that. And the same people that try to make you feel bad about where you grew up or how you were raised. Like, oh, you ain't never had no silver spoon like I had. Like, you can't make me feel bad for that. Because I look at a lot of people and you may have grown up that way look at you now like I know a lot of people that grew up with the two parent households and grew up in a house and like with five bedrooms on a nice piece of land and their mom had a car and they was in private school like all that stuff and then they grow up and they be baby mothers and they have five, four or five different baby mothers and then they own food stamps they own public assistance and it's like you see how that didn't correlate to you you see how you grew up and that silver spoon you had and how it ain't correlate to you now if you have parents that built you on generational wealth and they got to pass it down to you kudos that's what i'm trying to do for my kids i want to make sure my kids 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 don't have to worry about anything when they grow up like if they don't want to work until they 50 by all means do your thing that's just the kind of parent i am <laughs> but yeah like i'm just i'm feeling good and i'm so happy this is sunday i plan on editing this video and dropping it sunday night like the same the same day because I'm feeling that good so we about to go on this walk and I just wanted to get that out to you now we are going on our 30 minute walk around the park but yeah y'all I'm feeling good I'm losing weight I'm debating on diets because I've been the same weight like I was like 350 right so, right now I'm 250 something. But, like, I can't get out the 250s. And the reason why is because I keep, the reason why is because I keep overeating. I know that. I have like three days when I do good and two days when I do bad. So, it's like one step forward and two steps back. Like, <laughs> that's what's going on. Look at the. All right. I miss like the weights and stuff, but working out outside. 
it's nice so now because i did it now y'all gotta do it now y'all gotta go outside and get some air and work out and breathe some fresh air because it's lit hold up i gotta find out where i parked <laughs> You know you're okay. Let me see if they have. Everybody like always talking about dry mango. I really want to try this. Everybody's talking about this, so I want to try it. I like mango. I don't know if I'm gonna like it dry, but I like mango. I don't have any type of snacks. We have snacks. I'm about to be like really stressed. I'm not buying none of that. I need to head over to the fruits and veggies. I need berries. Strawberries. Oh, you look like a little green one. But I ain't paying for that, so I'm gonna get this. That's my favorite fruit. I cannot seem to find any. I bought this piece. Have any of these? Oh, I'm not sure if that's it. Um, I think that's it. Let me see. I wasn't recording, but. I wasn't recording, but all these hands, these for 85 cents. I normally get my baby food from Walmart. It's like the pack where it has like, it's like two something. Either I make the baby food, but my baby's gonna be at his grandmother's house. So I'm not gonna be able to make his food this week. So normally I get him like the Walmart Gerber ones. So it comes like the two packs that are like $2 and some change. These are 85 cents. Same amount that come in two packs for 85 cents. Even like it's still cheaper because even if you get two of these, that's normally like the two sizes of the Gerber thing, it's still cheaper than the two something. So I got like 25 of those. So let's see what else is on our list. There's a fish. basically all the stuff that i'm gonna eat as a sides because i'm doing really low calorie meals so no potatoes no rice real locale so a bunch of veggies now we're gonna head to shop right that's where i get my produce or my meats is meats produce i don't know we'll figure it out
looking for. Get on that card. 25. Oh. Boom. Done. Now I want. I, I need recommendations on the best ice cream. Don't all speak at once. I really just need like a low calorie ice cream. I've had Halo. Which is. Well, Halo's okay. Oh, something's on sale. Probably gonna get this. Enlightened. I don't like any of these flavors though. Mint, chocolate chunk. No. I normally do this one. But I don't know. I decided to go with this one. We'll see how it goes. I always like I want something sweet but not a lot of calories. So we're gonna try that and see how it goes. So I am back home after what feels like was a pretty good morning. I can't complain. But I thought I was gonna be recording all day, but I'm not. What I'm about to do is eat lunch and lay down with my man and my kids. It's gonna be pretty boring. We're just gonna be in the house relaxing. So <laughs> I'm done recording. What I do wanna say is that I thank you guys for watching. We're over a thousand subscribers. Let's get to a hundred thousand. <laughs> but no, um, yeah, I'm done recording. I'm not doing anything else eventful today. My mornings are normally the busiest and after that they're done. But every week I'm going to be uploading a video. We are going to be on our calorie deficit, very strict, working out at least five days a week, doing at least 30 minutes of cardio. 30 minutes of strength training, five days out of the week. We are in a calorie deficit and we're gonna keep track. So every week we're gonna do weigh-ins. We're gonna start this week. So if you're watching this, weigh yourself, measure yourself, start today. And then next Sunday, we're gonna weigh in and see how we've been doing. So I'm doing this with you guys. I'm trying to lose at least another 50 pounds. My goal weight was 180, but now I think I wanna be 200. And then we'll see how it goes. But that's what we're doing now. So love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm tired. I'm going to watch some Netflix with my man. Bye. <laughs>